Welcome to another Retro Shelf video with a review of a book that arrived just before Christmas. I didn't have time to do an unboxing. And as you can see, this is Tony Warner with Martin Mulroney, Revolution, The Quest for Game Development Greatness. This is a signed limited edition. And Tony's career covers more than 40 years in the British software industry from the 8-bit computers through 16-bit point-and-click adventures to the PlayStation era to modern crowdfunding and mobile apps. And so it's a fascinating story from someone who can uh, talk about the industry from so many levels. There's the founders of Revolution Software, including Tony himself. Uh, forward from Charles Cecil, introduction by Martin Mulroney, the editor, and so on. And as you see, there's photos, screenshots. This is a ratio. Saracen, Indiana Jones on ST he worked on. 19 boot camp. And so Revolution Software founded in Hull. You can also see some concept art for characters and how they then moved into Hull original offices, trip to Wales, and they moved from Hull to York. So as you can see there's also even some code sections here. We go lower the temp first, talking about some of the code, Tony being the programmer and the implementer, one of the people who took the scripts and ideas and turned them into code. And it covers lots of the games in that uh, one funny little extra is it jumps between chapter 10 and chapter 12 which is referring of course to Beneath a Still Sky which had 12 discs but no disc 11. Now on to Broken Sword obviously one of the most famous games box art there more character art and then In Cold Blood in the PlayStation era more behind the scenes photos, more broken sword, and then starting on the Apple iOS with Beneath the Steel Sky, and eventually leading up to the Kickstarter. Tony's idea was to do a broken sword tales, shorter adventures, but uh, then going behind the scenes of the Kickstarter. And as Tony himself says, his perception his memories of certain events are different to other people's and that does come across in the book there's also quite a few inside the industry tales where things maybe didn't go right the relationship between developers and publishers here we can see them filming for the kickstarter intro video and talking about how that process was difficult and then talking about how some of their fans the goats helped fund it the big backers sealed five Eventing with graphics and then ultimately how Tony would no longer be part of Revolution, Revolution no longer having a fixed office in York and Tony talking about some of the work he did on around that and how he wasn't involved in the sequel to be a steel sky uh, the late Barrington Furlong, the composer on the Broken Sword games, perks, box art, talking about how it was done and what he'd like to do in the future, and a little spoiler there, in memory of people lost along the way, and then the appendixes, the specification for the script language at the heart of many of Revolution's games, how that worked, like known as virtual theatre perhaps as well, and then the handwritten notes for what became Beneath a Steel Sky, which is interesting to see. And more code, scripts from Broken Sword 1. GEO, obviously, short for George. The Kickstarter backers, originally limited edition for Kickstarter. Reunion of 
the Revolution founders and Martin Mulroney outside the office where the rope beneath us was going. So, fascinating story, filled with some interesting details and certainly gives an insight into development and publishing games over the last 40 years. Check out Fusion Retro Books for this and other titles and keep watching this channel for more Retro Shelf, Unboxing, Merch Stand and Gameplay videos.